Hey guys, so today we are doing a Shop My Stash video. Uh, I love these intros. I love vlogging, kind of going through my collection with you guys. It's a lot of fun and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying it. I'm really getting the best feedback ever. So this episode is going to be uh, basically like forgotten loves, like products I love that I don't use and for absolutely no reason. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and shop my stash. All right, we've got my primer and uh, first foundation drawer. I pretty much did a declutter of my primers and foundations. I don't know if that video will have gone up. I think maybe. Um, so pretty much everything in here I love. So I'm just kind of looking for things that I just, I haven't used in a while. This I have not used in a while. This I haven't used in a while. A couple stick foundations. Let's take a look at my second drawer and see what we have there. Okay, here's my second drawer. You know what I haven't used, not even lately, but a lot, is this uh, Clay de Peau. Um, what is this called? The Radiant Fluid Foundation. I remember liking this, so I'm going to pull this out. Kind of strange that I have not used this in a while. I think it's just been forgotten. Well, forgotten loves, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull this one out. And then in terms of primer, you know what? This one... This one I think I was actually on the fence on and I said, you know, I'll use it a couple more times and just kind of decide. So why don't we do that today? All right, I don't want this to turn into a full like face of clay to post, so I'm not gonna use that. Um, you know what, let's use this Kogan Doe, this uh, Moisture Fit Concealer. I have it in the shade number two, I believe. Yeah, I think that's a zero two. And I really enjoy this concealer. Have I used it often? Not at all, so I'm gonna take that out. And then let's find a powder, maybe like way in the back there. Actually, let me move some of these powders out. All right, I just moved some powders around and look, look at how powdery this drawer is. That's actually powder and not dust. Um, I'm gonna pull out this YSL actually because I do enjoy this powder. And, oh God. And uh, definitely have not used this in a while. So I'm gonna use this as my um, setting powder. And then I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pull this Sisley out for finishing powder because I have not used this in a very long time. And I think that's it for this drawer. All right, I have focused in on this one blush drawer because I think I wanna use a Chanel blush. I feel like I haven't used Chanel blushes in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I just used that tweed one I think that I just pulled out. Um, but I don't feel like I've used like the regular blushes in a bit. Which one is this? The Jardine, oh, this is the flower one. Um, Fleur de Luxe. This, I think, was like a limited edition one. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my god. And then, what's this? Golden Sun. Okay, that one I've used a lot. Maybe not recently, but I've definitely used a lot. Rose Bronze, I think I used. And then Tweed Beige. Let's use this. Um, what is this called? Lotus? Fleur de Lotus. It's very, very peachy, so I have to remember that when I pick out some other stuff. So that'll be the blush. All right, here's my uh, one of my bronzer drawers. I think because I just pulled out such a warm blush, I'm going to go for kind of like a warm bronzer, um, and this one comes to mind. I freaking love this bronzer so much, but I just haven't used it in a while. This is the Sicily, whoa, <laughs> this is the Sicily Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. Love it. So I'm going to take this out for bronzer. All right, here's some highlighters. These are not all my highlighters, but I'm just, I'm going to try and find one in this drawer. Let's see. Okay, so I have that for blush, that for bronzer. Um, I don't think I want something terribly warm for highlight because that would just, I think that'd be too much. Let's try and find something kind of neutral. -ish. Oh, you know, what about this one? I have this in the shade 001. This is the Dior highlighter. And I love this, and I never use this. Why don't I ever use this? All right, we're pulling this out. And this has, look at that shift in there. I think this will work really nicely with the blush. Okay, we are using the Dior. All right, here's one of my um, eyeshadow drawers. I think, I don't know, I got a bee in my bonnet about using a Chanel quad. Um, I like spreading the love though, and I have a Chanel blush. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, I don't want to use that. It's a little too neutral. I want something kind of soft but warm. No, that is like metallic tones. This one, Enigma. No, this fan of uh, Smoky Eyes. No. <laughs> 
let's see. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Okay, I'm not in the mood for that one. That is this one. I think came out last cruise. This one. Oh, it's so, so pretty, but I don't think I'm in the mood for that today. Let's see. Uh, oh, one of my favorites, but I'm not in the mood for that either. Uh, Claire Obscure. Oh, this is such a good one. This is very basic, though, which is why I love it so much. Claire Obscure. Okay, I'm going to just put that aside. <laughs> we have... Oh, God, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. Yeah, that one. And let's see. Well, that's pretty too, and that has that peach in there. Okay, I'm gonna hold that one too. Ooh, which one is this one? Oh, okay, this is the one. This is the one I'm gonna use. Isn't that so pretty? And it's just, it's subtle. It's subtle, you know? It's just, oh, okay, that's what I'm in the mood for. We're gonna take this one out. And again, I'm not gonna attempt pronouncing that number 314 originally i was thinking just like nude lips but i don't know is that going to be too like monochromatic agatha orange this one i have not used in a while so i'm going to pull this one out this chantecaille that's so beautiful yeah let me pull this one out <laughs> What's wrong with yeah? Uh, this one is the Frangipani. All right, let's start with those, these two that I just pulled out. And actually, I'm going to pull out all of these Lisa Eldridge super bright colors. And these like came out for the spring. And I definitely have kind of forgotten about these guys. So I'm going to pull these out too. Because I feel like with such a soft eye look, a really bright lip would be fun. All right, so the first thing we picked out for primer is the Clay de Po Brightening Enhancer Base. And this is actually not a forgotten love. This is just a primer that I wanted to use a couple more times because I'm not sure that I actually like it. I think it looks a little chalky on my skin. You know, like instead of brightening, it's very, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, <laughs> let's see what this looks like. So it actually has like a nice like peachy tint to it, but it is very runny. So let me just get that on my face before it gets everywhere. But see how it's like, it's so um, white. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it does brightening or if it does chalkiness. You guys may have to sound off down below in the comment section, but let me just get this on. So there it is on my skin. So you guys, you guys know this if you've been with me for any amount of time. Uh, this part of my face is like cool toned and this part of my face is warm toned. This is just merely from age and sun exposure. Um, but yeah, my, my skin down here, the cool tone part, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it looks very like just white and kind of chalky and it looks okay up here. But I don't know, I don't know that I'm in love with this um, brightening enhancer base. Like when I use the By Terry CC Serum that's white, I really was a little bit afraid that it was gonna have like a chalky kind of just like white ashy look to my skin. But that one I felt actually did a lot of brightening and looked great. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know. So I think maybe in the next declutter, this guy is probably gonna go. All right, everything that we picked out is right behind me, by the way. So I'm just gonna grab the foundation and we pulled out the Clay de Po Radiant Fluid Foundation and I have it in the shade zero or O10. I tried O20 and I tried maybe like W20 and those were all just a little bit too deep for me. And in the Clay de Po, the foundation, the one that comes in the beautiful jar, I am an O20 and that works out fine. But for some reason their shade range isn't terribly consistent across all of their base products. So I feel like whenever I attempt to buy a Clay de Po base, it's like kind of a little bit of a guessing game each time. But this one, I think the closest was 010. So this has an SPF 24 in there and I'm, it has a pump. So I'm just gonna pump some out. It has, you know, like a pretty decent, like lotion-y kind of consistency. It's not too runny, it's not too thick either. And I'm using my Wayne Goss uh, 01 brush. I have not used this guy in a while either and I really like it, it's angled. And I'm just going to spread this out. Both of these products, the primer and the foundation, both have that Clay de Po rose scent, if you're curious. And I'm remembering now that when I got this foundation, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of like a natural kind of finish and that it was going to be kind of like a coverage on the lighter side is what I'm trying to say. And it has actually like pretty decent coverage, uh, more coverage than I was expecting. So I don't know, maybe that's why I don't reach for it as much as I should, but it has like 
pretty decent coverage and with a name like Radiant Fluid Foundation, for some reason I just thought it was gonna be lighter. All right, I feel like this makes my skin look really smooth. Let's move on to concealer. I've got my Kogendo Moisture Fit Concealer in number two. And this has a really nice kind of like peachy hue to it. So it does a lot of nice correcting if you have a little bit of darkness underneath your eyes. All right, there's the Moisture Fit Concealer. Another product, I don't know why I don't use more often. It's just, it's so seamless underneath the eyes. It doesn't crease. It looks nice, it's not drying at all, but it's not like too radiant. It's just, it's a really awesome concealer. So that's the Moisture Fit Concealer from Kogendo. And next up we have powder. I've already forgotten what I picked. Um, so we have the YSL powder here. And I have this, did this come in shades? Yeah, this, so this is the Souffle Declat, and I have it in shade 02. And I like this powder. I like this powder a lot. So I'm just going to tap some out. Taking my Surat face brush, I'm just gonna dip in there and just pounce lightly. I don't think I tapped out enough. Let me do that again. Okay, powder done. I'm gonna grab the bronzer, highlight, and blush that we picked. We have the Sisley, the Dior, and the Chanel. Let me go ahead and start with the Sis You know what, I wanna change it up a little bit. I always do bronzer, blush, highlight. And I feel like the more YouTube I watch, the more I see people doing it in different orders and it, how it looks like a little bit more seamless. So let's try that today. Let's try the blush first. I'm gonna go in with this Fleur de Lotus. Oh my God, isn't that stunning? I've got my Soji G Cheek Pro Brush. That is so pretty. Wow, thank you, Chanel. Thank you so much. Let's put on highlighter next, and we'll put bronzer on last. So I pulled out the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. I have it in the shade 001. I really, really like this highlighter. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, like limited edition highlighters that Dior has come out with, those always have a lot of like micro glitter in there, which just isn't really my thing. But the highlighter that comes in their regular line, I feel like is a little bit more smooth, less micro glittery. So I like them a little bit more. So I've got my Sonia G Designer Pro Brush. I'm gonna go into this pan. Wow. Eee. So much shine. I'm just gonna take my Sony G Face One brush and just buff it in a little bit more. Wow, I'm so glad we pulled this one out. Dior, yes, definitely a forgotten love. All right, and now let's try the Sisley bronzer. It's like this baked gel powder situation. It's so, so cool. It is a little bit difficult to pick up because it has that baked gel -A kind of um, consistency. So you need like a dense brush or a brush that's like natural haired. Those will definitely, um, assist in the picking up. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Refer bronzer brush. So that is the Sisley bronzer applied. And you know what's interesting? Putting bronzer on after I have blush and highlight on, I didn't go for my cheeks first. I felt like I went for my forehead first. I actually went to bronze, like the areas that I like bronze versus contour. Isn't that interesting? I guess because I already had stuff on my cheeks down, I didn't feel like I, I had to like add color there immediately, which is what I like to do because I always feel like when I don't have color on my cheeks, I look very, very unhealthy and on the brink of death. So maybe that's why I kind of started in a different place. That is very interesting. All right, I'm just gonna put on some of my fiber brow gel in granite and I'll be right back. All right, let's use this uh, Chanel quad. Do you guys remember this? I gotta admit, I kind of forgot about it, but it, whoa, it is this one. I'm not gonna attempt the name, 314. And it's so beautiful. And I remember when I reviewed this, a few people were like, um, that's like the softest, plainest, most useless look ever. And I was like, maybe, but that's the feeling I get when I look at this quad. Like, I don't expect I'm gonna get an Instagram <laughs> look when I look at this guy. Um, and I just like the kind of like ethereal look that it gives your eyes. So anyway, I personally like this quad a lot. So I'm gonna go in with my Sony G Classic Crease Brush. And I'm gonna start with this shimmery shade on the bottom left-hand corner. And I'm gonna brush this all over my lid. Look how pretty that is. Just love it. 
actually, I'm not, I don't know why I said that. I'm not brushing it all over my lid. I'm brushing it basically like on the inner half of my lid. And then I'm just gonna take the same brush and go into this peach color up here and place this in the center of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Mini Booster. I'm gonna go into this brown shade and just add that to the outer corner. I'm going back with my classic crease and just blending that out a bit. And I'm taking that mini booster again with the dark brown color and just dragging a bit underneath my eye here. And that's it, just keeping this look really light, just kind of bringing in some of the darker brown shade here. All right, so I'm not gonna add any liner or anything. I just, I don't know, I kind of like how light this look looks. Oh my God. I like how light this look is. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, add a little bit of mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, I just applied some of the Tom Ford Badass Mascara, which I am really, really enjoying. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to lips. So I pulled out a bunch of lip products. So I brought out some of the bright kind of orange colors. And then when I was kind of in this like brain space of bright colors, I pulled out the Lisa Eldridge like spring collection. So let's take a look at the Lisa Eldridge ones because I have not worn these in a while. I think I may wanna try the Rainbow Spill or the Go Lightly. So here's the Go Lightly, like a neon peach. And then the Rainbow Spill is like a neon pink. And then we have Love of My Life. Ooh, that, that could work too. That's a really beautiful rose color. And then Skyscraper Rose, which is the deepest, but just as bright. I'm gonna try the Go Lightly color. I'm really just digging this neon peach color right now. All right, there is Go Lightly on my lips. I actually don't like it with the rest of my look. So I'm gonna take it off and maybe try the Rainbow Spill. Okay, let's try the Rainbow Spill. Let's give this a twirl. Here's Rainbow Spill. What do we think about Rainbow Spill? I'd like it better. I like it better than the Go Lightly. Just don't know. I wonder if it's just too bright, if it's just too much of a contrast to the rest of my makeup. Okay, let's try one more. I was gonna try, where'd it go? Skyscraper Rose, but I'm thinking it's like the brightness of these colors, like the neon level of these colors that I'm just having a hard time with. So I think I'm gonna dig in my collection again uh, and just find like a nude that I haven't used in a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, I found something that is definitely soft and will definitely kind of go with this very soft look. So I grabbed uh, one of the Chanel Rouge Coco flashes and I have the shade Chicness 53. This was my favorite one out of like the first batch that I've purchased. This was my favorite color out of the first batch that I purchased. I've gone on to purchase more, but I really, really like this one. I use this one a lot and then it kind of just sat in my drawer. So this is what chicness looks like, just a great nude. And look, look at how moisturizing it is. It almost looks like a gloss. All right, I'm feeling much more comfortable with this. Obviously not, not a very daring look at all, but I really like it. I think this is just such a pretty soft look. And I almost forgot finishing powder. So we have the Sisley powder here and this powder I made, ooh, I made quite a mess out of this powder. I like flipped it over by accident. Anyway, this powder has quite a bit of sparkly bits in there. So I do not like this as setting powder at all. And in fact, as a finishing powder, I only like it like in the big sections of my face, like forehead and cheeks or whatever. I don't even like putting it like down here. I just feel like it's it's too much. So I've got a clean Sonia G Face One brush and I have the shade uh, number one, Irise. Just gonna buff. And just as a comparison, I don't think it's as shimmery as like the Lancome one. That one is very, very shimmery. I tried that uh, powder out. I think the Absolute Pesh uh, is the one that's very, very shimmery. In fact, I. I think it's more of a highlighter than it is like an all over face powder. So it's not quite as shimmery as the Lancome, but there are like micro glitters present 
on your face after you use this powder, like no matter how much I buff. But I do really like this as a finishing powder. I think it leaves your skin looking really, really like smooth. And when I first got this powder like years ago, I remember it took me a while to figure out how to use it. I used it as setting powder and I was like, oh my God, this looks terrible. And then I used it as finishing powder, but I just kind of like lightly dusted it everywhere. And I thought this kind of looks silly. But once I kind of discovered the Sonia G Face One brush, that's when it all kind of like came together. And I was like, yes. All right, so here is my final look. I actually really like it. It's very soft, very, very everyday. Nothing too fancy, I think very office appropriate. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.